जय हिंद टू ऑल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोलर प्लॉट सो पोलर पोट प्लॉट इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनली यूज मेथड टू स्केच द फ्रिक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स अनदर मेथड टू स्केच द फ्रिक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स आर नाइक्विस प्लॉट ओके एंड बॉडी प्लॉट एंड एम फाइव प्लॉट राइट सो अमंग दीज ऑल दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड most commonly the initial two three steps are common in all these uh, all these plots so today basically i am going to talk about the polar plot once you come to know about the polar plot then you can easily plot the nyquist plot you can easily draw the nyquist plot okay so these are the contents for today's lecture first of all i would like to introduce you about the uh, give the introduction about the polar plot then how can we assess the stability of the system based upon the polar plot and what are the parameters for the assessment of the stability that is the gain margin and the phase margin and how we can comment on the stability of any system when we come to know about the gain margin and phase margin of the system and in the last i'll talk some i'll discuss some uh, is examples based upon the polar plot so starting with the intro introduction so basically polar plot i has i have told you that it is the one of the commonly used method to sketch the frequency plot right frequency what then what do you mean by the frequency plot or frequency response uh, what is, do you mean by the sketching of the frequency response that means to plot the variation of the magnitude of gj omega and the phase of phase angle of gj omega with respect to the input frequency that is omega in case of uh, polar plot this frequency input frequency omega will vary vary from this 0 to infinity right all the uh, frequency can vary from minus infinity to infinity but Uh, polar plot can be divided into two parts right uh, when the frequency will vary from 0 to infinity then it is called as the direct polar plot and when the frequency will vary from minus infinity to 0 then that was that will call, will be called as uh, inverse polar plot so basically when i am talking about the polar plot that means i am uh, talking about the direct polar plot and uh, and uh, in all the cases uh, generally we will talk about the Uh, polar plot that means frequency will vary from 0 to infinity okay so uh, the two plots which are constituting the frequency response are the magnitude plot and the phase plot now how to draw these phase plots and the magnitude plots right so in polar plot the magnitude of gj omega is plotted against the phase angle of gj omega right into hj omega for various values of omega where omega will vary from 0 to infinity right so in frequency response we have magnitude will be represent of gj omega and you can say hj omega also right and the phase angle will be represented by phi and it will be the phase angle of gj omega hj omega okay so basically we can define polar plot as the locus of the tips of the phases of various magnitudes which are plotted at different values of the uh, frequencies which is varying from 0 to infinity in this example i am showing here i have taken the plot which is real part of the gj omega with uh, the imaginary part of the this is the imaginary part of the uh, gj omega hj omega right and here this is the p not is the point which i am which is called as the magnitude at omega is equals to 0 with an angle phi not right another point that i have plotted here at omega is equals to omega 1 is the p1 and the corresponding angle is phi1 right and when omega is equals to let's say omega 2 then the angle will be phi2 and point is p2 and let at omega is equals to infinity 
magnitude is p infinity and angle is phi infinity when i am taking the tips of all these when i am joining all these points right the tips of these various phasors so the locus will be called as the polar plot so uh, let's take an example here uh, we have to uh, consider a system in which the open loop transfer function is 10 upon s now what is its polar plot so first very first step is we have to convert it into the frequency domain that is put s is equals to j omega so i am getting g j omega h j omega will be equal to 10 upon j omega now first of all find out the magnitude of g j omega and h j omega right so this will be 10 upon omega right and the angle phase angle of g j omega h j omega will be if we can see directly it will be minus 10 inverse omega upon 10 right uh, j uh, so you can directly write it as minus 90 degree also okay because this is j omega that is pole is at origin right so when i am taking various when i am want to plot the polar plot then i have to take various values of omega and i have to obtain the magnitude as well as the angle right so at omega is equals to 0 let me take the values at omega is equals to 0 then i'll take the value at omega is equals to let's say uh, sorry this is 0 then i'll take value at omega is equals to 0.1 then 1 and omega is equals to infinity right so when i put omega is e at omega is equals to 0 the magnitude will be something upon 0 is infinity and phase angle is always minus 90 degree in this case okay as it is we are having a pole at origin so since we have the formula for the uh, angle is 10 inverse y by x so that's why i have written here uh, omega by 10 right so which is this is omega is equals to 0 here okay so when at omega is equals to 0 i am getting the angle at minus 90 degree or directly i can write it as uh, minus 90 degree since it is pole at origin okay directly you can write it as pole at origin that is minus 90 degree if there is a zero at origin you can directly write it as uh, plus 90 degree for multiple poles multiply it with n if say there are n number of poles at origin then you can write minus uh, 90 degree into n and if there are multiple zeros at uh, origin then you can write uh, minus 90 degree well, plus 90 degree into n then you will get directly the angle okay so at omega is equals to 0 magnitude is 90 and angle is minus 90 at let's say omega is equals to 0 0.1 okay so um, at omega is equals to 0 0.1 so the magnitude will be equals to uh, the magnitude is will be equals to 100 okay and value of phi will be again minus 90 degree now at omega is equals to put omega is equals to 1 this is 0 0.1 at omega is equals to when i am putting 1 then magnitude will be equal to 1 and sorry 10 and phase angle will be equal to phase angle again minus 90 degree so you can see i directly i am getting all the values at uh, omega is equals to phi is equals to 90 degree right at omega is equals to now i'll put the value infinity so at infinity the magnitude will be equal to 0 okay and angle will be equal to again minus 90 degree now taking all these points i can draw the polar plot right so let me draw actually the values here so that i can easily plot the polar okay 0 0.1 pe value li thi, then i have taken the value at 1 at and i have taken the value at infinity Yehi to values li thi. 
and magnitude is always infinity 100 10 and 0 infinity 100 10 and 0 and angle is always 90 degree in all the cases right now i can plot the polar so this will be the real part of gj omega hj omega and this is the imaginary part of gj omega hj omega okay so at omega is equal to so magnitude is so this is 0 degree this is minus 90 degree this is again minus 180 degree and let's say this is minus 270 degree okay so at minus 90 right magnitude is infinity so magnitude is infinity let let this point is omega is equals to 0 then at minus 90 only the magnitude is 100 let's say this is the point 100 right and angle is again minus 90 and here omega is equals to 0 0.1 and magnitude is 10 at omega is equals to 1 and then finally i am getting magnitude 0 at omega is equals to infinite so when i am joining all these points so this will be the polar plot for this system that is gs is equals to 1 upon s now how can i uh, know the direction since angle is here you can directly find out the value of uh, angle omega infinity minus omega 0 infinity pe i am having angle minus 90 and at this this is minus minus plus 90 so angle is basically 0 degree right right so i can say it plus right positive sign is says the direction which is called as the uh, clockwise direction for positive sign and anti clockwise direction for negative sign so this will be the plot for gs is equals to 1 upon s right now let us uh, uh, let us uh, take an another example where gs is equals to 1 upon ts and we have to find out the polar plot here t is a constant in this system Again, first step is put s is equals to j omega. Okay, then we can find out the the g j omega h j omega will be one upon one plus j omega t. Now magnitude of g j omega h j omega will be one upon under the root one square plus omega square into t square. Okay, and phase angle of g j omega h j omega will be minus k tan inverse omega t upon 1 y by x ok now let us take values at omega is equals to 0 I will take the value right I will find the magnitude uh, and uh, let us put one value as t ok and uh, we will find magnitude and phase angle and at omega is equals to uh, infinite we have to for sure we have to find out the values at omega is equals to 0 and omega is equals to infinity in between we can take uh, any point right so at all these only three values i am going to calculate the magnitude and phase angle so at omega is equals to 0 the magnitude will be 1 and the phase angle will be omega is equal 10 inverse 0 is 0 okay now omega is equals to t sorry omega is equals to t when i am putting omega is equals to t so the magnitude will be this is t square right omega is equals to t means t raised to the power 4 this is 1 plus t raised to the power 4 okay so magnitude come outs to be uh, 1 upon 1 if I will put uh, let let me take the value at omega is equals to 1 by t so that it may get cancel out and I am getting again the magnitude value of magnitude here is again 1 and angle will be at 1 by t omega is equals to 1 by 1 by t so the angle will be 
45 degrees sorry magnitude will be here 1 by root 2 in this case okay when this gets cancelled out okay 1 plus 1 will be 1 by root 2 okay and at omega is equals to infinity magnitude again something upon infinity is 0 and when I will put omega is equals to infinity here I am getting the angle 10 inverse infinity is 90 degree okay so these are the values that I have to plot now using these values I will plot the polar <laughs> let me draw the table so that I can easily draw omega and this is magnitude and this is phase I have taken value at omega is equals to 0 1 by t and infinity so what is the um, magnitude 1 by root 2 0 this is 1 by root 2 0 and this is I think infinite no, sorry 1 okay this is 1 and angle is 0 45 degree minus 90 0 degree 45 degree and this is minus 90 so this angle will be minus 45 yeah I have minus sign here so this angle will be minus 45 okay minus 45 now plot real part of gj omega hj omega with respect to imaginary part of gj omega hj omega okay so magnitude is 1 see 0 this is 0 degree and this is again minus 90 degree okay so magnitude here is at 0 degree is 1 okay so this is one point and at minus 45 degree magnitude is this is around minus 45 degree let us say this is the line for minus 45 degree and here magnitude is 1 by root 2 okay so let us say this will be the point 1 by root 2 uh, okay and at minus 90 degree magnitude is 0. So, when I am joining these points I am getting this okay now the direction will be how to find out the direction whether this plot will be in anti clockwise direction or clockwise direction for that you can use the trick omega infinity minus omega 0 okay so this plot will be uh, this value will be telling you the direction omega infinity angle at omega infinity and angle at omega 0 what is the angle at infinity minus 90 minus omega 0 pe angle kitna tha hamara 0 so i am getting minus 90 degree minus sign indicates the clockwise direction this negative sign will say that direction is clockwise theek hai so this will be the direction of the polar plot and here when magnitude is 1 the value of omega is 0 let's say this is the point where angle is 45 degree and the value of omega here is 1 by t right and at omega is equals to 0 sorry omega is equals to infinity pe we are getting the magnitude 0. So, when I am joining these three points I am getting this uh, polar plot ok. You can take any values in between 0 to infinity to confirm the plot ok. In this way we can draw the plot. So, it is basically the magnitude versus phase angle for various values of uh, omega which are varying from 0 to infinity right. Now, how to assess the stability of the system? So, the if we uh, this uh, information about the stability of the system can be just obtained by looking towards the polar plot right. If the polar plot is getting closer to minus 1 plus 0 point right. So, the, in that case relative stability will reduce and system will tend towards the instability. So, in this system A you can say here I am having the poles at these two points and which is away from uh, which, which uh, the plot is away with respect to system B right. Uh, so, you can see in system A when I am uh, seeing the plot, the plot is minus 1 plus j 0, oh sorry, g uh, polar plot in this case is this. So, you can see here minus 1 plus j 0 is this point, right. And in this case, the plot is this 
and this is you can see that it is more closer as compared to this system. So, system B the stability of system B is less as compared to the system A ok. It is more closer to the system uh, to the point minus 1 plus J 0 ok. Now, I can uh, explain it in a more uh, simplified way. So, here I have taken the value of G s H s is equals to 1 upon uh, s into 1 plus T 1 s into 1 plus T 2 s right. So, you can see here if if let us say uh, that uh, the plot which we have uh, uh, drawn using uh, this uh, value of the on open loop uh, of the closed loop system right. Uh, then at that point the negative real axis will be crossed at omega is equals to omega 2 let us say right this is the omega is equals to omega 2 right which is having an intercept let us say a ok. Now, let us say that minus a unit circle which is centered at 0 will be passing through the point minus 1 plus j 0 it would it will intersect the polar plot at let us say frequency omega is equals to omega 1. Now, let the phasor g j omega 1 h j omega n make an angle 5 with the negative axis right negative real axis measured positively in counter clockwise direction right. Then the relative stability can be measured in terms of the intercept a and the angle phi. So, basically these two concepts are used to define the gain margin as well as the phase margin as these are the measures of the relative stability ok. So, these two these two margins are, uh, are really important right. So, in this figure if we see that omega at omega is equals to omega t omega 2 right we have angle minus 180 degree right and what is the magnitude here? A is the magnitude right. Now, if the gain of the system is increased by the factor let us say 1 by u, new, 1 by a then what will be the magnitude a into 1 by a which will be equal to 1. So, this uh, will uh, this plot will be passing through the point minus 1 plus j 0 which will drive the system to the verge of instability. So, we can define the gain margin as the reciprocal of the magnitude right at a frequency right which is at which the uh, omega is equals to omega pc and omega pc is the phase angle at which the uh, uh, is the frequency at which the phase angle becomes minus k 180 degree right. So, the frequency at which the phase angle becomes minus 180 degree is called as the omega pc that is phase crossover frequency and you can write gain margin as the reciprocal of the magnitude of the uh, magnitude of the frequency uh, magnitude of the sorry g j omega h j omega right at omega is equals to omega p c here omega 2 is in omega p c right. If we talk in terms of decibel then we have to multiply it by 20 minus 20 log to the base 10 right. So, it will be converted into decibel. Now, again we can define the phase margin the frequency at which the magnitude of g j omega h j omega will be equal to 1 that will be called as the gain crossover frequency right and the phase angle at omega is equals to omega 1 if you see here will be equal to minus 180 degree right plus this phi ok minus 180 degree plus this phi right. If we add uh, uh, another phase ang another angle let us say phi right. So, the grain crossover at the grain crossover frequency right. So, the phase angle will become only minus 180 degree because you know gain crossover frequency here is minus uh, one, uh, the phase angle at gain crossover frequency is minus 180 degree plus phi. Now, I am adding another uh, angle let us say phi to this angle then the phase angle remains only minus 180 degree right. So, the magnitude will remain unity, but the so, and the plot will passes to the point minus 1 plus j 0 which will again drive the system towards the instability. So, this additional lag is known as the phase margin and we can define phase margin as 180 degree plus 
phi gc where phi gc is the gain crossover angle at the gain crossover frequency so we can define phase margin as the amount of additional phase lag which is added at the gain crossover frequency to make the system at the verge of instability now uh, how uh, now I, am, I know what is gain margin, what is phase margin, what is gain crossover frequency, what is phase crossover frequency. Now, how to comment on the stability depending upon this. So, these are the three points which have to be keep in mind while defining the, the stability of any system. So, if we say if we talk about in terms of gain margin and phase margin. So, you can say if gain margin is greater than 1 and phase margin is positive that means if both gain margin and phase margin are positive then the system is stable and in terms of omega gc and omega pc if omega pc is greater than omega gc then the system is said to be stable system right if gain margin is equals to phase margin right that means or sorry if gain margin is equal to 1 and phase margin is equal to 0 degree or omega pc is equal to omega gc then in, in that case system is called as the marginally stable but if gain margin is less than one or phase margin is negative that means both are negative gain margin and phase margin you can say both are negative or omega gc is greater than omega pc then in that case the system is said to be unstable system so these are the three important points to comment upon the stability of any system now, I have taken uh, this numerical to for better understanding of the polar plot. So, here we have uh, they have given us the GS value of GS is 12 upon S into S plus 1 into S plus 2. Now, we have to draw the polar plot and determine whether the system is stable or not and we have to also determine the gain margin of the particular system and stability. Uh, so, we can comment upon the stability only when we come to know about the gain margin and the phase margin or omega GC upon and omega PC. Okay. So, <clears throat> for saving of time, I have uh, done some calculation or, uh, here. So, first step is put S is equals to J omega, right? So, what is the value of G J omega, H J omega again? The value is 12 upon J omega into J omega plus 1 and this is J omega plus 2. Now, first of all, we have to find out the magnitude of G J omega, H J omega, right? which will be equals to 12 upon omega under the root 1 square plus omega square into under the root omega square plus 2 square ok or I can take a single root and uh, within a bracket this is same uh, no problem and the angle of g j omega that is pi will be equal to minus 90 degree for pole at origin and minus 10 inverse omega upon 1 minus 10 inverse omega upon 2 will be the phase angle for this system right now i'll calculate values at omega is equals to when we put omega is equals to 0 in phase angle and magnitude i'm getting the magnitude as infinity and phase angle as minus 90 degree and if i put value of omega is equals to 0.1 the angle is the magnitude is 59.6 and angle is minus 98.57 right and if omega is equals to 1 the value is 3.9 uh, 3.79 as the magnitude and angle is coming out to be minus 161.56 degree and when omega is equals to 5 omega uh, then angle is minus 236.86 and magnitude is 0 0.08 now if omega is equals to infinity then the magnitude is something upon infinity is 0 right and the phase angle will be minus 10 inverse infinity means 0 uh, sorry 90 degree right. So, minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 that means minus 270 degree will be the will be the phase angle ok. So, I can plot I can plot using these values, draw a plot using these values. So, this is the real part of gj omega, this is the imaginary part of gj omega at, so the magnitude is infinity at minus 90, this is minus 90, let me take another pen for the, this is minus 90 degree, 
this is minus 180 degree this is minus 270 degree okay so at minus 90 value is infinity okay at uh, point 1 angle is minus 98 degree 98 degree let's say around this angle and magnitude is 59.62 okay okay let's say infinity is this value minus 90 pe hui and this is the point that is 59.62 okay and here omega is equals to 0 at angle 90 minus 90 pe omega is equals to 0 hai, value finite hai. point 1 pe omega is equals to let's say point 1 pe value kitni hai 59.69 and angle is minus 98 okay so this will be this is 90 let's say this is 98 8 degree i'm starting from here then angle is minus 161 okay let's say this is minus 161 angle theek hai and magnitude is 3.79 let's say this is point 3.79 3.79 here omega is equals to 1 i am joining again this point and at omega is equals to 5 pe the angle is minus 236 minus 236 is around here let's say this is point 236 and the value is only point 08 let's say this is minus 236 if then minus 236 the value here point 8 are here and then value is 0 at mu minus 270 so this will be the value this will be the plot now let me make it very clearly once again i'll draw this plot a more clear way so basically this will be the plot okay omega is equals to minus 90 pe yahan pe kitna tha zero aur yahan pe omega is equals to infinite now direction kya hogi clockwise or anti clockwise so let me check omega infinity pe angle is minus omega 0 pe minus 270 minus minus plus 90 so angle is minus 180 minus sign shows the clockwise direction that means this will be the direction so this will be the point now i have to find out this point of intersection right so the point of intersection will be find out only when I will rationalize the two points and separate the imaginary and real points. First of all, rationalize gj omega, hj omega, then separate the imaginary and real part. And since it is cutting on the real axis, then so put imaginary part equals to 0. The value which you will be getting will be omega is equals to omega pc. So put that omega pc in the real part and you will get, uh, sorry, the value of omega which you will be getting put that well in the real, real part so you will be getting that value will be called as omega pc and this will be the magnitude in that case okay so this is the value 12 upon j omega j omega plus 1 and j omega plus 2 okay so for point of intersection g j omega will be 12 upon this is j omega 1 plus j omega and this is 2 plus j omega right first of all so i will simplify this only then only I am able to separate real and imaginary axis. So, it will be 12 upon, let us say this is j omega only, you will get 2 1 j 2 and this is will be plus 3 j omega, okay and this is 2 1 j 2 and this is j omega 2 j omega 3 j omega and this is uh, j omega square uh, minus omega square, okay and further this is simplified, kare, so 12 upon, um, common term le le. ये हो जाएगी कैंसिल आउट तो ये हो जाएगा हमारे साथ रियल पार्ट विल बी माइनस थ्री ओमेगा स्क्वायर एंड प्लस लेट्स से जे इज कॉमन तो हो जाएगा टू ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा क्यू दिस इज द रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट्स ओके सो नाउ रेशनलाइज इट rationalize it so this will be 
ट्वेल्व अपॉन माइनस थ्री ओमेगा स्क्वायर प्लस जे ओमेगा इंटू टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ठीक है इंटू माइनस थ्री ओमेगा स्क्वायर माइनस जे ओमेगा इंटू टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर अपॉन माइनस थ्री ओमेगा स्क्वायर माइनस जे ओमेगा इंटू टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ठीक है इनको रैशनलाइज करके फाइनली सॉल्व करके यहाँ पर देखते हैं क्या वैल्यू आएगी एक मिनट नाउ हेयर आई एम गेटिंग द वैल्यू ट्वेल्व इंटू माइनस थ्री ओमेगा स्क्वायर माइनस ओके दिस इज माइनस टू जे ओमेगा प्लस जे ओमेगा क्यू अपॉन अपॉन द वैल्यू विल बी लेट से दिस इज माइनस है ना दिस इज माइनस सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी दैट मीन्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर लिख सकते हैं हम यानी ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी का स्क्वायर हो जाएगा हमारा माइनस माइनस बी स्क्वायर जब हम करेंगे तो जे इन टू जे अगेन प्लस हो जाएगा तो प्लस एंड दिस इज ओमेगा स्क्वायर हेयर एंड हेयर टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर का होल स्क्वायर हो जाएगा नाउ सेपरेट रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट अगेन हेयर सो रियल पार्ट सेपरेट रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट ओके वेन आई एम सेपरेटिंग रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट देन माइनस थर्टी सिक्स ओमेगा स्क्वायर अपॉन ये हो जाएगा हमारा थ्री थ्री जो नाइन ना नाइन ओमेगा की पार फोर प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इन टू टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर का होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द रियल पार्ट एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट विल कम आउट टू बी लेट से माइनस साइन हम बाहर ले लेते हैं माइनस जे हम बाहर ले लेते हैं इधर ट्वेल्व भी हमारा कॉमन आ रहा है एंड दिस विल बी अगेन ये टू ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा क्यू ठीक है ये बचेगा हमारे पास जो हमने जे कॉमन ले लिया ओमेगा क्यू बचा टू ओमेगा अपॉन दिस एज इट इज टर्म नाइन ओमेगा रेस टू दी पार फोर माइनस प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इन टू टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर का होल स्क्वायर नाउ वी हैव टू इक्वेट रियल पार्ट सॉरी इमेजनरी पार्ट इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स नाउ दिस पार्ट मस्ट बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो ओके फ्रॉम हेयर इक्वेट इमेजनरी पार्ट इक्वल्स टू जीरो जब मैं इसको जीरो पुट करूंगी देन सिंस दिस इज फाइनाइट देन ट्वेल्व इंटू टू ओमेगा माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ओमेगा क्यू विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओमेगा की वैल्यू यहां से एक जीरो आ जाएगी हमारी और ये क्या आएगा ओमेगा स्क्वायर माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो ओमेगा की वैल्यू आ गई प्लस माइनस रूट टू हाँ और एक ओमेगा की वैल्यू क्या आ रही है जीरो तो यहां पर मुझे दिख रहा है कि ओमेगा की वैल्यू जीरो तो नहीं हो सकती प्लस माइनस रूट टू में से हमें नेगेटिव साइन दिख रहा है तो हम क्या लेंगे ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू हियर सो वैलिड पॉइंट इज ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू सी ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू वो सॉरी ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू रूट टू सॉरी तो दो पॉजिटिव वाली वैल्यू लेंगे सो ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू रूट टू विल बी द वैल्यू वेन आई एम स्पिटिंग एंड दिस विल बी कॉल्ड एज ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू ओमेगा पी सी ठीक है नाउ ओमेगा पी सी हो गया ये मेरा नाउ वेन आई पुट दिस वैल्यू ओमेगा पी सी इन द रियल पार्ट देन आई एम गेटिंग द मैग्नीट्यूड इज माइनस टू राइट सॉरी जी जे ओमेगा इज माइनस टू का मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ जी जे ओमेगा विल बी माइनस टू एंड वेन फॉर गेन मार्जिन वन अपॉन मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ जी जे ओमेगा एट ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू पी सी विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी पॉइंट फाइव and when we draw the circle of unity radius the plot will be minus 32 how minus 180 degree plus minus 180 minus 232 so it is coming out to be minus 52 degree since the gain margin is less than 1 right and phase angle is also negative so the system is said to be unstable theek hai for today's lecture i hope it is clear to you Thank you so much.